Today, I will bring you a horror movie titled The Invisible Man, a movie about a girl trying to run away from her violence and controlling husband. After hiding in a friend's house, she thought she would get rid of him, but the horrors have just begun. Cecilia wakes up in the middle of the night. She gets out of bed trying not to wake her husband Adrian. Then she reaches under the bed for the drug she's hidden there. Cecilia moves silently and deliberately to the dressing room where she gets a duffel bag full of clothes and adds the medicine inside as well. Next, she points the hallway camera to her sleeping husband and checks if it's working so that she can keep an eye on him. She walks into a room that looks like a laboratory and disables the house cameras and alarm. She gets dressed quickly and quietly leaves the house through the garage. Zeus the dog follows her out and scares her at first. She takes his electric collar off, when suddenly the dog activates the car alarm and Cecilia runs toward the fence. The light in the bedroom turn on as she climbs over. She runs through the woods and gets to a road, waiting for her sister Emily to pick her up. More than a moment passes and she looks terrified. Finally her sister arrives and Cecilia gets in the car. All of a sudden her husband appears behind her, screaming after her and breaking the window. They drive away, but he finds her diazepam on the ground. Two weeks later, Cecilia is at a James's house. She's still afraid to go outside, but he convinces her to go out to the mailbox. When she goes to open it, a man jogging scares her and she runs back inside. The next day Emily visit her. Cecilia is upset that she's there thinking that her husband might have followed her there. But her sister has some news. She shows her an article on her phone saying her husband is dead. Cecilia doesn't understand how. She tells James and Emily about the way he would control her. From the way she looked to the way she spoke and thought. His abuse didn't just stop with physical violence. The next day, Cecilia is able to walk out of the house more easily. She gets the letters by herself and is congratulated by her friend and his daughter Sydney for her efforts. James finds one of the letters is addressed to her. Later, Cecilia and Emily are in a law office. Adrian's brother, who's also a lawyer, reads the final wishes of the deceased, who has left Cecilia $5 million. That night she surprises Sydney and James with a present, thanking them for taking good care of her. James gets a giant ladder and Sydney a bank account with enough money to go to fashion school. They celebrate and then Cecilia goes to her room. She keeps having the feeling that someone is watching her. The next morning James leaves for work and asks Cecilia to wake Sydney up. She does just that while leaving the stove on. The breakfast catches fire and the girl puts it out with a fire extinguisher. Later that day, Cecilia is alone at the house, but she senses something strange and goes to investigate. She looks through the entire house and finds nothing when suddenly she hears the front door of the house open. Cecilia checks the entrance. There is no one there, but she still feels strange. Suddenly a second breath can be seen next to her. The same night Cecilia and Sydney are sleeping in Sydney's room. Suddenly something pulls their covers off and starts playing with the light in the room waking Cecilia. She thinks she sees someone in the room briefly, but realizes it's just Sydney's mannequin. Then she goes to pick up the covers from the floor and thinks that there is someone sitting in the chair next to her. So she throws the covers at it. There's no one. She pulls on the covers, but they don't move. When she looks at them, it's as if someone is standing on them. Cecilia calls for James, waking Sydney in the process, and he rushes into the room. Since neither him nor his daughter see anybody, he calms her down a little bit saying not to let the memory of Adrian haunt her. Cecilia has a job interview. The interviewer flirts with her as they sit down, but when he sees that she's nervous asks to see her work. Cecilia opens the bag and her work isn't there. She gets really upset and passes out cold. James is sitting with her in the hospital as the doctor tells her to basically keep it easy until her lab results are done. Cecilia is taking a shower and hears the phone ring. She picks up and it's her doctor telling her that the reason for her fainting is high levels of diazepam in her system. Cecilia sees a bottle of diazepam on the bathroom sink. It has a bloody fingerprint on it. Later, Cecilia has taken James with her to see Adrian's brother. She tells them about the bottle of diazepam, saying it was put there by Adrian, but the brother dismisses her. Then she says that she doesn't believe he's dead, saying that he's figured out a way to be invisible and that she's sure his brother knows about it. James is shocked and Adrian's brother is unimpressed. He says that his brother tortured him by getting inside his head too. He shows her a picture of Adrian's dead body and tells her that he was also relieved when his brother died. Cecilia goes to see Emily, and they have an awkward conversation in which her sister tells her that she read her awful email about how she feels about her. Cecilia tells her that she didn't send the email, but that Adrian did. Emily doesn't believe her and tells her to get help. That night, Cecilia checks the sent items on her email and finds the one sent to Emily. Sydney walks in to find her crying on the floor. After a few comforting words, they decide to go out. Sydney stands up and something hits her. She immediately calls for her dad thinking Cecilia did that to her. 
As much as she tries she can't convince the two of them that it wasn't her that hit the girl, so they leave her alone in the house. Cecilia knows that Adrian is somehow there and starts calling for him. She grabs a bag of coffee and spreads it all over the floor in one of the rooms, sitting herself down on the opposite end to the door. Firmly believing that Adrian is there she talks to him begging to be left alone. She gets the idea to call his phone and when it rings she can hear it in the selling. Celia climbs in the selling and starts looking for him but sees no one. She calls the phone again and goes in its direction, where she finds Adrian's keys and knife and her design work. There's a noise behind her so she grabs a paint and throws it at the opening of the selling, suddenly showing the contours of a man. She gets down from the selling and looks for him, when she hears the water running in the kitchen. The sink is full of paint. An invisible hand grabs and lifts her abruptly. It throws her around the house. They fight it chases after her and tries to strangle her, but she fights it off and runs out of the house. Cecilia manages to get an Uber and asks him to take her to the house where she lived with Adrian. They get to the house and she asks the Uber to wait. Cecilia walks inside and is joined by Zeus. The dog follows her to the basement laboratory where she heads straight to one of the gadgets. She tries to figure out what it is by looking at a tablet strapped to the wall and succeeds in deactivating the gadget slowly revealing an invisibility suit. Cecilia is taking the suit of the mannequin when the dog barks and runs towards something alerting her that there's someone else in the house. Cecilia goes to hide in the dressing room in the bedroom but is followed by the invisible man. He opens the door but ironically doesn't see her immediately. She runs away as the dog barks at him. While in the Uber, she calls Emily asking to meet her that night. Cecilia waits for her sister in a restaurant nervously looking at the empty chair. When Emily arrives she tells her about what she found in Adrian's house. That would prove that he's still alive. Suddenly a knife is floating mid-air, killing Emily. In the next moment it's in Cecilia's hand. A patron in the restaurant screams and everyone freaks out moving away from her. Cecilia is pinned down and arrested. She's taken to an asylum, screaming that she didn't do it. Staring at the empty corners of the room, she says that Adrian killed her sister and that she knows he's there. She's sedated and left alone. Footsteps are heard heading toward her and the word surprise. James and another detective are interrogating Cecilia. She says she has proof about Adrian but that she can't tell them what it is because he's in the room and they can't see him. The other detective leaves and she asks James if he believes her. She says she feels guilty but James feels guilty in his own way too. Later, Cecilia is talking to a doctor who tells her that she's pregnant and that it happened sometime in the last month. The next day Adrian's brother comes to see her in the asylum. He's there to tell her that since she's been brought up on criminal charges and potentially ruled mentally incompetent, she's lost the right to Adrian's money. She belittles him comparing him to his narcissist sociopath brother. He tells her that she has two options. To sign the document and forfeit the money or to have the baby and go back to Adrian. He offers her a new life with Adrian in one phone call. She refuses and steals one of his pens when he isn't looking. He tells her he'll come back in three days for her final decision. Later that night, after the orderly checks Cecilia's room thoroughly and leaves, she goes in the shower. She takes the pen and as she starts to cut into her veins says, you won't get the baby. Suddenly the invisible man grabs her hand and she stabs him with the pen repeatedly. The security guard walks in but sees the damaged suit. He goes to shock the invisible man, but the he turns the stun gun back on the guard. Cecilia runs but is quickly stopped by two guards. They're taking her back to her room and the man appears again, killing them. More keep coming and suffer the same fate one by one, completely unaware of what's happening to them. After killing the last guard on that floor, the man drops the gun. Cecilia runs after him and takes it. She chases him to the stairwell and shoots after him. They both leave the facility and go outside in the pouring rain. Cecilia is looking for him with the gun on hand. She hears a noise and goes after it, while security guards are after her too. Close to her is an open trunk, so she approaches it assuming he's hiding there. He grabs her suddenly and starts strangling her, telling her that if she doesn't comply, he'll hurt the ones she loves like Sydney. Cecilia goes after him again, but when she gets outside of the fence, the invisible man speeds toward her with his car while she shoots at him, causing another car to crash. Cecilia steals that car and goes after him again relentlessly. While driving she calls James and tells him to go back to the house and protect Sydney. The invisible man arrives at the house and goes into her room. She wakes up and gets the pepper spray out of her bag. Since she can hear him moving, she sprays him and he falls over. She runs away screaming, but the man grabs her. At that moment James arrives at the house, so the man just starts attacking him instead. Sydney begs him to stop beating up her dad. When suddenly Cecilia arrives and blasts him with a fire extinguisher, then shoots him dead. 
She goes over to the body and takes off the mask, only to reveal that it was Adrian's brother. A tactical police unit is seen going through Adrian's house as cries for help are heard from inside. The police tear down a wall in the basement and find Adrian tied up. Later James tells Cecilia how he was found, but she doesn't believe that he was his brother's victim. James tries to convince her, but she believes that Adrian set his brother up, making her feel like she's the crazy one. That night she goes back to the house, he's waiting for her, pleased to see her. She's not as pleased to see him though. They sit down for dinner and he's trying to be vulnerable with her, apologizes to her, saying he learned his lesson. She wants him to admit to everything that he did, but he keeps swearing that his brother was controlling him. Cecilia persists in asking for his admission and meanwhile James is outside the house, listening to every word the two are saying. As she's crying Adrian comes over to comfort her but falls back to his controlling ways again. Cecilia goes to the bathroom to clean herself up and he's seen waiting for her at the table. After she's been gone for a while he becomes restless and suddenly kills himself. After a moment, Cecilia comes back and immediately calls the emergency services. She pulls away in the blind spot of the security camera, sits down and watches him die. James comes running toward the house after he heard what's happened and finds Cecilia leaving. She tells him that Adrian had killed himself, but James sees the suit in a duffel bag she's holding and asks if she planned it all along. Cecilia doesn't answer the question directly. She walks out of the house leaving everything behind. Cecilia finally got rid of her husband who abused her all this time. She also inherited a great property worthy of her suffering. The movie ends here. Goodbye and see you again.